When looking at modern American man, one may notice something rather interesting. There is almost a bubble around everyone. When that bubble is popped, it leads to varying degrees of discomfort. No one wants to be a space invader. Personal space is my space. Um, it's kind of like your personal bubble, like the space that surrounds you. So you don't want anyone to like invade it? Get bitchy. Get the fuck away from me is usually what I say. I do not like people close to me. <laughs> because it's, it depends how they're being close to me, you know? Really, it's just, if you don't know someone, you really don't want them touching you. What is personal space? The notion of personal space comes from anthropologist and cross-cultural researcher Edward T. Hall, who in 1966 came up with this diagram, illustrating the various sections of space as it relates to the individual. The sections are divided into public, social, personal, and intimate space. How close is too close? Oh, probably around. Yeah. Right, 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 right there. Yeah, okay. like an inch or something. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, I'm normally close to you and you don't know them, that's too close. Bubbles like right here. <laughs> if you get in the bubble, it's a little invasive. I don't mind if someone, like, their arm is close, maybe, but if they're, like, touching me, maybe that's a little too close. Touching my body, definitely too close. Oh, way too close, especially when it's, like, not wanted, you know? Yeah. There's a certain level of, like, like, creepiness if somebody's, like, honing on you and you, you're you not asking for that. Um, if it's by someone creepy, like, one time I was on the subway and this guy, like, kept, like, scooching close to me and was like, what do you do for fun? And I was like, I don't... Have fun. <laughs> I was like, I don't go out. He's like, you don't go out ever. I was like, no, I read. Uh, well, Subway, there's no such thing as personal space. So, when is it not acceptable to be close to another person? And when is it acceptable? What happens if we take the idea of personal space as it exists within one location, such as a subway, and exhibit it within another social situation? This is what my group set out to explore. And so we became space invaders. in various ways. Some changed the direction they were walking in to avoid us. Some took evasive action to stop us from invading their space, while others just completely ignored us. How people reacted depended heavily on who they are and what they are comfortable with. In the end, the idea of personal space is really subjective.